How's it going, everyone? It is Liam Catterson here. Welcome to another episode of Once Upon a Time as we continue with season four. This is episode number 18. Um, yeah, with the handful of episodes left to go, and things got very, very interesting with the last episode. It was a Robin Hood um, focused episode, not just in terms of what's been happening since he left Storybook, but also in the flashbacks. But that wasn't the elephant in the room as Zelina returned, which um, was very, very surprising, especially since um, it came at a very late point in the season. But also, um, you assumed that she was dealt with by Rumpel at the or towards the end of season three. But uh, no, she she was all fine and alive all of this time. More so posing as Marion. So, yeah, Marion is actually dead, um, in, well, from the, uh, flashbacks, um, and ever since Marion has been brought to Storybrooke, um, it wasn't her, it was Zelina all along. So, yeah, um, Liam blue screened of deft, um, no, that's deft, deft. B S O D. There we go. Um, no, uh, it, it it was a, a revelation that um, really twisted my mind because, like I said, it was something that I was not ex expecting, and I'm assuming that uh, everyone else, uh, when they were watching this, had no idea um, whatsoever. So uh, it was a really, really neat surprise. Like I said, my worry is uh, the oversaturation of villains. Oh, I forgot to come up with a name this week. I'll just let it slide this week. Um, it's been a week, so yeah. No, but um, um, like I said, there there is that worry about the oversaturation of villains uh, for the remainder of season four. But like I said, I feel like um, this is more so setting things up for season five, potentially, with Zelena. So um, yeah, but uh, Regina in a bit of a tough position because she's having to choose between Emma and or, or Robin and uh it's not like she's um you know free willingly um come uh she's free willingly came to that decision of choosing Rump uh, robin or um emma because of course she's um currently being held hostage i guess by rumpel so yeah but uh, i'm excited to see how this episode will deliver so with that said let's get into episode 19 of season 4 for once upon a time 18 because I'm watching it on Disney Plus. <laughs> Let's go. You can't make me. As a matter of fact, I can. Oh my god. Because this is not abusive whatsoever. But the little brat. My daughter. Yes. Well, you should know. Your she somehow death is going to last for days. Oof. Very oh dang. Now Lily's still alive. Now that the author is here, today is the day that I get mine. Now be a good girl. Lie down and take a nap. Damn, is she really commanding Maleficent? Dang! That is impressive, but though, considering how um, Melis Maleficent it, it is. Good. I'm sorry, but if it were me, no matter what, I would not harm a defenseless person. And that right there, that goodness, is exactly why we did what we did. It was worth it. I mean, it's Virginia, also part of humanity. I mean, day. you're gonna feel bad after I rescue if Robin Hood. Robin Hood, um, preserving your goodness damned someone else. Really, you must know them from your stories. Know of them, sure, but an author Be rarely quiet. gets. <laughs> Don't say another one. I mean, you just asked him a question. To be fair, something's just come up. You stay here till I return. Until you return, but who's gonna? <laughs> Root. Protect me. Oh, 
Holy what? It seems that centuries of dark deeds do take their toll. Mm-hmm. Guy had a stroke, basically. Of it is this. Oh, oh my god! Will is just such a better kisser than you are. <laughs> Yikes! What? What you did you pathetic? Watching you come groveling back to me, it's like a dog begging for scraps. <laughs> Cause she's not. This isn't like you, pal. But it is so like me. Cause no, you don't have it in you. Don't I? You wanna you wanna play this lucky? I believe you. Good. Regina, I love you. To New York now. Though I do like this new shade of confidence. Oh, so pardon me. Masculine. Are you sure you can't help a girl out? Did they have a thing? For all time's sake. Did they have a Not thing? A chance. Because I think you'll find there's more than one way to skin an author. I don't think skin, skinning an author is pretty good. Those questions so carelessly. I'm sorry, okay? Shh. Can I have a... I'm guessing you've never even been in love. I'm guessing there's a reason place. why you have three husbands with your attitude. Or hat, should I say. Maybe you should write your own story for once, instead of leeching off other people's pain. Well. Don't blame the dog, darling. He's simply following orders, and I told him to fetch. What do you want? I want you to be a good boy and get in the car. Wow. Leverage. All fun. Right, if I get out, I'll tell everyone her dirty little secret. She killed her husband. Everyone believes that my father died of a heart attack, but I know that. No way! Of course! Of course! Any doubts I had were put to rest when husbands two and three were found belly up. Cinderella tale with a black widow twist. <laughs> now with you, I want you to take this. I hope you don't have to use it, but I want you to stay safe. I don't think Thank that's you. gonna work, but hey! So you're not angry with me for keeping your parents' secret? It's between me and them. You were just trying to help. I love these two! Idiot mouse. Your death. No, I want to know why. I want to know precisely what you wrote Extract about every her. bit of information and words. whatnot. You want to know? Oh, Here. hello. Read it for yourself. Wait, wait. What if he sold out the crew? Page, anyway. Ella. I, I can make it even more memorable. There's something I want to show you. He's going to propose a night on. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. A bed. Oh. You see, I can use it to whisk us away to some place where your mother. Why don't and you your use that pen for Ferrari us. to win the F1 2022 together. championship? Oh. Just. If only it were that simple. Ask. It can be. What if I gave you magic, so no matter where you were, you'd be safe? Oh. You do that for me. Watch me. He is literally handing everything on a, I would say silver platter, but. I'm not going to help. I'm not avoiding you. It's Henry's life on the line. I need to be around people I trust. And right now, that's not you. You gotta take responsibility of what happened. I mean, you spent like a few bloody episodes like say maybe we should thing. tell a nah, nah. Get over nah. it. it looks like is she wait is she, was she, she playing oh boy oh boy 
Yeah, Henry, that wasn't really a smart choice. Corella told me the truth about her father and the others. That you murdered them. She really did a number on you, didn't she? Do you think a newspaper man would know a tall tale when he heard one? Because I didn't kill anyone. Sure. Don't you understand? It was Cruella. <laughs> you know, I somehow don't buy that. You expect me. I simply told them in your command. Kill. Yo! What the heck? So damn, was it mother just genuine all this time? Bloody hell. Oh, isn't this like a parallel to episode one of season three? He says he can't teach an old dog new tricks. You shouldn't have run. You gonna shoot a kid? Mom. Let him go. Dogs anymore. They're with mother now. Me. Oh, that was the idea, darling. You were what played is like a damn fiddle. Oh shit! Well, you were wondering what had happened at the ink spilled, and here we go. Okay. I was just trying to protect the world from Cruella. I had no idea that Gold would use her like this. Even I couldn't see the end to the story. What are you talking about? Oh no. How does the story end? Oh no, 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 no. With the savior. Turning dark. No, 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 no. Bill can no longer take away the life of another. Do you see now? That's why she couldn't Henry shoot. No danger. Crowley can't kill anyone. Can't kill Henry, can't kill Emma, can't She's anyone. Senseless. Emma doesn't know. Which means Gold wants her to. Put your hands down, Xavier. We both know you're bluffing. That's my son. And you're a hero. And heroes don't kill. Holy Dan! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Holy sh! We got. We we got. Yep, yeah, we got a. Emma's turned to the dark side of the force. <laughs> complete your training, and your journey towards the dark side will be completed. Had to. Obi Wan starting in two days for me, so. I mean, I think this was inevitable, wasn't it? That Emma would uh, have a spell with the darkness, and uh, yeah. The fact that, you know, Cruella couldn't do anything and the trap was set. Yeah. But, uh,. There you go. I mean, you have Emma taking a step in her parents' shoes because, of course, they compromised a life to protect their child uh, in in a in a different way to how Emma protected Henry, because this this was Emma with the notion that Henry was going to die and she was going to and she basically saved him from from death so yeah obviously unbeknownst to her Corella was never going to do that so yeah but um still like i said she has a step in her parents shoes because she compromised life to protect her child and yeah oi Yikes, everyone. Oof. Well, that should be certainly interesting for 
um, the remainder of this season now that Emma is seemingly tapping into that dark side. Um, I feel like it's more so um, with with Emma and that potential for her to um, be on that journey that has been teased for quite some time now on the, of of going to the dark side i mean i feel like with this it is a big step it's not like her suddenly um turning um you know dark and whatnot uh, at that exact moment it is a huge step if anything and i feel like after this uh, episode um we're going to see um just that final push for her to go to the dark side before we do conclude the season of course so yeah unless they do a twist where season five um the first part of season five we've got to deal with emma which i I wouldn't mind because it would just be a very, very unpredictable way of dealing with the, I guess, first part of season five. Um, but no, like I said, I feel like with what she did with Cruella, um, that is a huge, huge part. It's not the the final, you could say, a final nail in the coffin uh, for uh, the tease for Emma being on the dark side, but it is a huge, huge, humongous step. So, um, and and we're going to see quite the ramifications spiral out because she's just taken a life, and yeah, granted, um. A, she didn't know about the fact that Cruella couldn't um, kill Henry. She can't kill anyone, which was a really, really nice twist that the author made uh, Cruella do. Um, it, it does really put a dent in what Cruella has done. But um, yeah, not just that, though, but um, there was, of course, um, so much aggression. I mean, you don't condone murder and whatnot, but there was so much aggression in regards to how Cruella was um, threatening to um, kill um, one of the greatest pieces of her life. If, you, if anything, you could say the greatest um, piece. Um, so... Yeah, and I feel like with the fact that she has, uh, she'll know she's taken a life, that's going to kind of manifest and uh, pave out the rest of this journey towards the dark side. Uh, because she's now taken a life, and um, that's going to be weighing on her. It's, it's, it's not something that she's going to shrug off. Um, so, yeah, but I... Um, <laughs> I I really am in, intrigued to see where things are going to go because I always don't mind the prospect of a villain having a bit of a dark spell or having a bit of a controversial, um, I don't know, um, period of their life doesn't necessarily um, mean that they're a villain, but it um, does darken their, that chapter of their life. Like, um, you know, in Doctor Who, we've got the War Doctor, and that's a very, very restricted part of the Doctor's life because it's not something you want to reflect on. Um, but there are moments where um, the hero does become, um, does have that little bit of a dark spell, and it, and it is a very, very interesting concept. Um, if it's done right, then, you know, it's all well and good. So hopefully what we're going to have with Emma turning to the dark side, potentially, it's going to be very, very interesting. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see what does happen. So, yeah, but that was very, very cold, especially with gold um, influencing things in regards to Emma uh, fulfilling that journey. Um, and the fact that, we had, like I said, we had that twist where Isaac created the um, created that part part where you know Cruella couldn't kill again because she's um, I, I don't know I, I'm assuming four is the um, body count she has on her in regards to uh, the three fathers uh, well uh, the three people uh, that her mother married but also. Um, in a very, very macabre way as well, um, because she, she ha had the dogs maul her, and then she killed the dogs. So, yeah. I gotta say, I really, really appreciated the way that 
um, I guess I was really, really surprised with um, Cruella just being evil just for the hell of it. And, you know, you do get some characters like that. And, and we've had that before in Once Upon a Time. But um, I think we're so used to the idea that, okay, well, we're going to have a, a a villain that you do feel so bad for. And they had us for the most part. And then when Cruella's mother came and said, well, uh, I don't know what she's been telling you, but she was, uh, she was the one to kill uh, my three partners like you you were just thinking nah she's mm, she's lying and she's trying like what she's going to do is create this friction between Isaac and um, Cruella and that's going to send Cruella off on the deep end um, so her mother's lie and her, and her mother trying to drag her name through the mud that, that, that's going to um, create that um, I guess darkness uh, for Cruella but no she was just evil all this time so she didn't need like a sympathetic backstory for her um, she was just evil all of this time and yeah so um, you know the, the more you think about it the more you feel a bit bad for the mother because um, she has um tried to be with partners and then Cruella's just decided to off them and Cruella's been the bane of her existence you could say and you know she might have tried whether you might agree that um uh, she should have been a bit more benevolent benevolent or not in terms of attitude that remains to be seen um but she she tried and Cru there's no fixing Cruella she, she was just born evil and that's really it there are some people out there who are just <laughs> Who are just born pure evil. And that was Cruella. So, gotta say, I am a bit sad that um, that is the last we, we, we're we going to see of Cruella with, um, um, with, I would say her doing a Gwen, if you get the reference. Although, yeah, uh, no one tried to save Cruella in this instance. So, yeah, but um, no, I am going to be a bit sad because I, I mean, Obviously, with Ursula, she had her uh, happy ending and whatnot, and, you know, Cruella's happy ending will just be to kill again, so, um, but, yeah, we've had a bit of Maleficent, especially in season one, um, and I would have loved to have seen Cruella, um, especially, uh, a bit more of Cruella, because, um, you know, 101 Dalmatians was a, a classic way back when, so, um, and I mean, for me, in, in terms of my enjoyability with the film. So, you know, the idea of Cruella showing up was just pretty, pretty um, neat because, um, yeah, it, it was just getting me nostalgic for that. So, but I guess it does set things up really, really well with Emma's, uh, with, like I said, this, with her death being a very, very big part in, in terms of Emma's darkness. And, you know, her parents are going to feel really, really bad that they weren't uh, able to stop her in time. And with the resentment that Emma has for her parents at the minute, that could spiral into an even worse direction. Um, and I gotta say, I feel like, um, like I said, there's, there is that parallel with um, her parents in regards to how they compromised a life. Because, of course, uh, Lily was compromised in order for Emma's um, purity uh, to be safe. But now there's, they're going to feel a, a lot more worse because it was all for nothing. Um, so, um, yeah, and like I said, I don't, I feel like with Ursula and, um, and, um, Cruella leaving, I feel like this opens the door for Emma to turn to the dark side and Lily to potentially, um, show up because, um, like I said, I think we're going to see her. So, um, yeah, um, and it will be like in in the in terms of the present day, it will be very very interesting to see if um, she will emerge because we've only got like what we've got like four episodes left, maybe five. I'm not sure with the numbering on Disney Plus. So yeah, and I'm not going to uh, you know check just in case I uh, kind of ruin stuff for me. But um, no, um, you don't like I said with the um, whole. Uh, like, you don't want to kind of rush things with, you know, the whole Zelina situation, but I feel like that's a, a season five 
<laughs> setup. Um, I could be, I, I could be, that could be the same said about Lily. Like they're making all of this um, build up and then she's going to show up in season five. I'm just thinking that because of course, Dark Emma, that's going to be a, like she's going to take the entire spotlight because this is not just a hero turning to the dark side. This is the antagonist of this show turning uh, no, protagonist, should I say. I got confused there. Uh, this is the protagonist turning to the dark side. So unless they try to find some way to um, prevent Emma from going all darkness uh, by the next episode, um, we'll just have to wait and see. But um, like I said, if, if this is the case, then obviously Dark Emma is going to have a, a huge amount of spotlight. And yeah, so... Um, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what does happen in regards to uh, Emma and the dark side. So yeah, but um, no, it was just very, very interesting to see Isaac and his uh, connection with Cruella and um, how um, he just basically got played like a damn fiddle. So sometimes, you know, your authors can't predict what's going to happen on the next page page i guess so um and he did not uh, anticipate for the twist and um of the fact that cruella's always been evil to be fair i didn't either so that makes two of us um but yeah that was that was uh, a pretty pretty interesting uh, revelation and not just that though but um you just thought you would have some, um, you, you would feel so bad for Cruella uh, in regards to, you know, the whole evil mother scenario and, um, um, just how delightful, um, her interactions with Isaac was. But, uh, no, she, she, um, yeah, she wanted this i guess so hey. um but yeah um it was just very very interesting to have um a bit of emma and regina interaction as well where emma couldn't really blame regina i really really love their interactions this season like you just think back to season one of um of once upon a time and, and just reflect on how far they've come and it's and it does really really delight you when you see them to interact and on on a very very good basis there was a bit of sass that emma threw at regina but uh, i think that moment where she was like i can't really blame you you just did uh, you just thought you were um helping etc so yeah um again i love how you have um you know these characters integrate themselves with technology i'm talking about corella playing angry birds i was just like perplexed like yeah so um how does that work by the way like she can control and can she control like fictional in terms of that in terms of in universe fictional animals so, yeah, because I'm just thinking Nintendogs as well, which is very, very appropriate because I think there was, oh, remember that? I'm old. I am old. So, um, no, but there's a Dalmatian pack there. So can she control animals there? I mean, you technically can anyways, if you get the drift about, you know, being in control of a of a game, etc. But, you, yeah, can she use her abilities to make things go the way that um uh make things go her way should i say i don't know these are the important questions um no but um it was really really great to have that um it was really really great to have that not just backstory but also explanation to corella how she's she was just evil and not uh for a reason she just you know, liked being evil. So, you know, whew. um, but yeah, I also really, really loved the, um, scene where Regina, uh, really got to gold by having Belle's heart. And then she, she tried to, cause obviously we've had the last few episodes gold being, I guess, in control of Regina, but now, uh, she's turned the tables and, uh, was like, if you try anything, yeah, Belle's gonna get it, so, um, which, you know, is very, very interesting how Belle was like, yeah, you can have my heart, just don't, if you, if you try to destroy it, just don't mean it, just 
instill fear in terms of um of of gold, please, because I I'd like my heart, please, in what in one piece. <laughs> no, but uh, I really really loved that scene. Um, just seeing gold tremble and whatnot. He he still cares for um for Bell, but obviously uh the damage he did it, it's been done and uh yeah so um i won't be shipping them to in any kind of future um unless i don't know gold goes through some kind of like a uh, period of of um like i don't know imprisonment or whatever or um basically has a change of heart i mean when you saw his heart in this episode i was like gee i mean we've seen darkened hearts before but i don't think anything like that it was almost like charred really so um which is very very i guess apt given the fact that you know he's the dark one and yeah so um but yeah bell and gold so um i'm just more so um willing to um you know cheer for will and and bell if anything so yeah um but no i am really really uh intrigued to see where we are going to go um from here because um i feel like um the seeds have definitely been planted we just we we just need that final step forward in my opinion for bell uh, for for emma should i say to turn to the dark side of the force so yeah um she even force pushed her as well so see this is a this is getting more and more appropriate as like as you think about it no but in all seriousness pretty great episode gonna miss cruella but um no it was really really good to get a bit of an explanation about how she's always been evil so some people just are uh, folks uh even in the real world some people are just evil and they can get yated. So yeah. <laughs> but uh, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel. If you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles.